Hello guys, we are here expanding your consciousness, give you the best life advice and exposing the matrix. In this video, we're gonna talk about the importance of setting healthy boundaries. Imagine your mind like a garden. You are growing the best stuff in there, you are watering your plants, you are taking care of your soil and now imagine that somebody comes in they, lit uh, they literally tear up everything in your garden. Imagine somebody else come in and what they do is they start dictating how you should um, how you should uh, fix your things in the garden, um, what you should be doing, even if that would harm your plants, your garden. Now imagine someone else that comes in, gets a rake and begins to chop everything in your garden. The key is to realize that when you get a fence there and you put around your garden, which means you are, you are establishing healthy boundaries, now you are stopping people to, to come into your garden and chop it and um, take it or dictate how things will go and here's a trippy thing I know that with, with what I went through my childhood I had a very overprotective family and that caused a part of me to feel safe with other people coming into my garden to dictate how things will go it's all a play dynamic from your childhood, from my childhood at least. And you might ask, why is it so hard to set boundaries? One of the reasons it's hard for people to set boundaries, it's because they actually feel safe with other people in their garden dictating how they how they're gonna take care about their vegetables, about their plants, about their stuff there. It's hard for people to set boundaries. Because of that belief. Because of that belief. And... The crazy thing is that um, they might even feel responsible for other people's garden. So, because someone doesn't have their set growing well in their garden, they are like, come over to my garden, I have that. I will let you dictate how things will go in my garden. You see what happens? It's not your responsibility to make sure that uh, everybody else's garden is growing, is fixed, it has apples, it has certain stuff. On the other hand, it is your responsibility to take care of your own garden. It's, it is your, your responsibility to protect your own garden, to fill your own cup first. It, it is your responsibility. The key to this is to realize that you have to go more inside your body. And the more you do this, the more empowering it feels and um, the more you are not afraid to set boundaries I don't feel guilty when I do something because I wanna do it I don't feel guilty when I say no to somebody or something when I really don't wanna do it you have to honor your inside and that means setting boundaries Guilt, you have to realize that guilt comes from responsibility. If we believe that uh, it's our responsibility to allow people inside our garden, of course it's gonna be hard to say no, because we believe that. If we believe that it's safer for someone else to come into our garden, what we will do is we will keep allowing it. 
you have to realize that setting and protecting your own boundaries gives you the momentum to do to go to the direction you really want to go in life okay so you have to be mindful of who you let in and that mindfulness is your boundaries if you struggle with having boundaries if you feel guilty if uh, you also struggle to be to your own frame I said it, it is I said it many times it's a replayed dynamic from your childhood from the way your caretakers uh, were behaving on you I'm actually in my body I'm, I'm connected to my soul I'm more present I'm living in a state of being that changed everything I'm not trying to people please I'm not falling into other people's frame I'm in my own frame and if you find yourself lacking your own frame lacking your direction in life lacking having a vision about what you're creating for for the world or you don't have uh, boundaries for how people treat you that means that energetically you are not in your own body you are not connected to your own body I mean you are but you are not grounded you are not grounded in your body you, you are running from from, uh, from your inner child that is the, the root chakra you are not connected with your soul with your essence something is missing you are not connected with the awareness behind your thoughts you think you are your thoughts but you, due to the 3D matrix programming we are used to identify with our thoughts and uh, with our thoughts and emotions and we can't even think the possibility that those thoughts could be an illusion we ignore the possibility that there might be a reality outside of our conditioned way of thinking so the key to this is to realize that uh, I literally have to go inside my body you can do that by doing meditation you can do that by working out in nature and pressing the sun and pressing the moon you can do that by putting awareness in your bottom three chakras where your traumatized wouldn't under child lies you have to put your awareness there and the power empower it fix it heal it what happens with an empath okay they feel so much everything around them they are and they are not showing their body and uh, the thing with this is that uh, you have to get more inside your body to to put your awareness in this separation you're gonna say this is my stuff this is this is my stuff this is their stuff I'm not gonna keep enabling people to think to think that I'm gonna make them happy or validate their existence because that doesn't help them heal when you are in your own body connected in your awareness there is a frame that comes with it there is your energy has changed you are not looking for external validation you you don't care you are in your own body there is a different level of presence that comes with it so when it comes to setting boundaries you have to realize that it's super important it's your set versus what it, it is other people set remember that there, there will be people that intend to make you feel guilty or you might just naturally feel guilty from your past from your childhood experience the boundaries are literally boundaries in your own body you really 
you have to, to ask yourself if you really feel safe in your own body, if, in, if you really feel safe in your own container. If you don't feel safe and uh, you bet you are gonna find someone else that uh, is gonna make you feel safe in their container, that you can make feels that you, they can make you feel safe in their frame. You, you need to change this belief, okay? Because that that is not you. And the world needs you. You have to remind yourself who you are. You have to connect with your eternal soul. Personally, I don't have energy. I don't have time to do that. To I can choose to do it, but I don't. Because being in your own frame feels so much better when you are connected with your body, with your soul. This place is much more better. It's much more. It's much more better. So a big part of this is to focus your awareness in the bottom three chakras and empower your inner child. And this is how you set boundaries. You see there is a limited belief system right there. The one exp I explained above. You have to change that. It's a belief system of the matrix. Okay, so this is the video for today. The importance of setting healthy boundaries. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the message, share the message, support the channel and uh, subscribe to the channel, you know, like the video and see you in the next guys. Peace and glory. Peace and glory.